Hi, our team here is building an interactive menu for a restaurant called Tenza. Now Tenza is a Japanese restaurant and one of the interesting things that they have is that they have a specials menu that actually changes every single week and seasonally. Now this causes a problem for the owner, Zhen Yang, because he has to actually print out new menus every single week when the specials change. So one of the ways that we can actually help him is by incorporating all the different menus that he has, which in total is four, the specials menu, the a la carte menu, the sake menu, as well as the lunch menu, onto one, into an iPad, right? Let me show you the app. First off, when you enter the app, you can actually see the specials menu. And the reason for this is because the specials menu is changed every single week, and the restaurant owner would actually like customers to actually sample and try different dishes every time they come. So all these dishes are actually unique and are actually very uniquely Japanese. And there are a couple of ways to actually interact with this app. For example, there's a button here, uh, the corner grid, that actually just returns back to the host place. But we also incorporated other ways to keep this very interactive and a bit more fun. So it's kind of like Easter egg here, right? You can actually move the pictures around, rotate them, and even expand them so they become full. And we can just zoom out. I mean zoom in. So this is one part of it, this is specials. And the specials is a, is a part of the menu that actually changes every single week. And as a result, uh, we actually have to build a content management system uh, whereby the manager, I mean the restaurant owner, can actually change the specials every week. Um, next on, there's actually the a la carte uh, section of the menu. And you actually notice that this a la carte section is a bit more plain, all right? It's just simply words and many different categories. The reason being is that we want customers to actually go towards ordering special uh, from the specials menu because these specials are really the food uh, that are actually customized every single week and provide a very unique Japanese culture. Next up, um, there's also a very unique one, is the alcohol list. Basically, users can actually thumb through and look through each of the alcohol and their bottles visually. Now the reason for doing so is because the restaurant owner actually found that his customers don't actually remember the names of the alcohol that they are ordering. Rather, they actually remember the alcohol by their bottles. So as a result, we tried to make it easier on the customers as well as the staff in the restaurants by creating this visual representation of the alcohol such that customers have an easier time recognizing what bottles they would like to order from. We also have an, a mailing list and customers can actually type in their name and their emails to actually join and get more updates of the next specials uh, and the foods in Tenza. And that's all. Thank you.